Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Wild Urban Adventures. This episode will be a part of a series I'll call my Tacoma Overland build. I have a few things in the works that should be arriving this month. I have a CVI Overland bed rack that should be here within the next couple weeks. Um, let's see, I have a, the JB, JBA off-road upper control arms and a lift kit that I'll be installing hopefully this month. Or hopefully soon, I can't wait. And I have uh, some mini mods, like such as this thing right here. This is called the Tech Deck. So, anyways, let's get on with the video and let's go for a car wash. As you can see, my truck is kind of dusty. Yeah, kind of dusty. Yeah, let's go through a car wash first and then let's get on with the video. Tech Tech! Damn, that thing looks pretty cool. Okay, guys. This is the Tech Deck I just ordered from my truck from uh, Bird Dog Industries. This actually goes right here, right above the control, and right under the clock. And people actually use this for their GPS units or whatever they may want to put on here. So, so I decided to get one. These were actually out of stock when I tried to order them a couple of months ago. But they just came into stock about a week ago and bought it then. And now I'm good. I'm gonna, now I'm going to be installing it. So I'm pretty excited. I ordered this piece with a two one inch uh, diamond diamond bottom mount one inch ball ram mount and it actually goes right on top of here on both sides these holes are actually for mounting it onto your dash it did come with uh, mounting screws right here just enough to mount it on but it did not come with the screws for the, the ram mounts so I went to a local hardware store and bought some. I went both a little longer because I figured I could probably mount the balls. Probably one one up here and one on the bottom. So I have more spots to hook up whatever gadgets I want to put on. So that's why I went with a little longer screws. But right now I only bought two of these uh, mounts. So I'm just going to leave the screws on. I think I'm going to be a little extra long, but that's okay. Tech deck in. All three screws are in. It's only pretty sturdy, guys. Now you want to take your ball, part number RAM B238U. This is a 2716 by 1 and 516 base with ball. 
and basically we're just gonna screw these right here. We got the long right that goes right there. And this one will go right here. And eventually if I wanted to with the longer screws I can actually mount two on the bottom as well. So there'd be four ball mounts right here if I if I ever wanted to. But for now I'm just gonna stick to the two on top. This is gonna be for my cell phone and this is for my partner's cell phone with my wife or whoever comes with me or if I decide to do something different later I can put a bigger GPS unit right here or whatever tech that I need in the future so yeah, let's uh, get these installed and then go from there guys Okay guys, I need to tighten these. I get a size 3 Allen wrench right here, size 3. Just goes right on top. Then I'm going to use a socket size, let's see here, size 8. Just going to twist from the bottom so I don't put any scratches on the mount. Make it tight. You know, it doesn't have to be too tight because you got a lock washer on there. There he goes. This is the tech deck. I noticed that once I get it on, it kind of blocks the view of the clock and everything, but it's not that big of a deal. Just like got access down here. What I might do is I might actually cut these off shorter. After looking at this, I don't think I'm gonna put two more down here because I think it's gonna get in the way. So yeah, we'll just cut these off later. See how it is right now. Drive like this for a couple weeks. See how I like it. If I don't like it, I'll just push on the bolts but so they don't get in the way. I like it. I like it so far. Hey, how's it going, guys? I finally got my RAM mount in, and this is what it looks like right now. It's actually pretty nice. It's got the longer bar in the back. I'm thinking about getting it the shorter bar, but I think this will work for now. I am going to do one change instead of. Because before I said I was gonna, I was thinking about having two balls on the bottom, and he said that I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna be switching these longer screws out. I'm actually gonna be putting some shorter screws in. I actually went to Home Depot, pick this guy up, which is a tap. I'm gonna be tapping the whole six millimeters, and it should, and I should be able to just screw these in instead of having the nuts nuts on the bottom which will give it a much cleaner look hey guys as you can see I needed to take the tech deck off again and I went ahead and tapped it six millimeters I made the hole six millimeters and I had to tap the mount six millimeters or I could have just uh, drilled out the holes bigger but I decided to just uh, tap them all so and I got the six millimeter by ten millimeter it went in perfectly and it's almost flush which makes it a which gives it a cleaner look which I like a lot better so now all I gotta do is just install it back in and we're good to go.
All right, guys, it's looking pretty good. Mount is in. The screws are almost flush. This is a very, very small overhang, but it's not going to get in the way of anything. I still have access to all my controls, my hazard. I won't be able to see my truck clock, but that's okay. That's what my phone is for. So this is a, a pretty neat modification. So if you guys like this modification, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.